Politics of Ferelden. To our neighbors, Ferelden seems utterly chaotic. Unlike other monarchies, power does not descend from our throne. Rather, it rises from the support of the Freeholders. Each Freehold chooses the Ban or Arl to whom it pays allegiance. Typically, this choice is based on proximity of the Freehold to the Lord's Castle, as it's worthless to pay for the upkeep of soldiers who will arrive at your land too late to defend it. For the most part, each generation of Freeholders casts its lot with the same Ban as their fathers did. But things can and do change. No formal oaths are sworn, and it's not unheard of, especially in the prickly center Benorn, for bands to court freeholders away from their neighbors, a practice which inevitably begets feuds that last for ages. Cairns arose from amongst the bands, war leaders who, in antiquity, had grown powerful enough to move other bands to swear fealty to them. There were many Terrans in the days before King Callan had, but he succeeded in whittling down to only two, Warren in the south, Hyever in the north. These Terrans still hold the oaths of bands and arls who they may call upon in events of war or disaster, and similarly, the Terrans still hold responsibility for defending those sworn to them. The arls were established by the Terrans, given command of strategic fortresses that could not be overseen by the Terrans themselves. Unlike the Terrans, the arls have no bands sworn to them and are simply somewhat more prestigious bands. The king is, in essence, the most powerful of the Terrans. Although Denerim was originally the Terran of the King, it has since been reduced to an Arling, as the King's domain is now all of Ferelden. But even the King's power must come from the bands. Nowhere is this more evident than during the Landsmeet, an annual council for which all the nobles of Ferelden gather, held for almost 3,000 years except odd interruptions during blights and invasions. The sight of a King asking for and working to win the support of lesser men is a source of constant wonder to foreign ambassadors. From Ferelden, Folklore and History, by Sister Petrine, Chantry Scholar. <laughs>